Gosh, you all call this partisan coverage filtering. Um, and basically you're proving what we sense for a while, which is Fox viewers are in the dark about bad news for the GOP. I'm going. I'm going. We're gonna get right into this video, but first, give me just a moment to tell you about this special offer from preparewithdronetech.com. Friends, big dangers are all around us these days. To survive what's coming, you need to be prepared and self-reliant. That's why I recommend getting yourself some cryptocurrency, some land, some gold, but especially a proper stockpile of emergency food. It's easier than you think. Go to preparewithdronetech.com right now, and you'll save $50 and get free shipping on a generous four-week supply of emergency food from my patriot supply go to prepare with dronetech.com right now that's prepare with dronetech.com hey welcome back everybody if you followed tater for a while then you know that on multiple occasions he's been called out by the people interviewing him and every single time he denies and deflects he never gives a straight answer or he attacks the character and credibility of the person asking the question for most normal people especially a professional journalist this kind of feedback should cause some sort of self-reflection but not helter stelter no no he just keeps digging and digging hoping that someone anyone will believe his theatrics I don't know if there's any journalists left at CNN, but I know that, you know, if I were to estimate about 300 different, you know, distortions or misinformation that we get out of CNN, and you have to watch them in the airport, which is harsh, but if you added all that up to 46 months, it comes out to be 300,000 plus distortions of truth. So my thing is here is that you guys, this is how low you'll go is that you went out and you made you made lies and you uh, you defamed a child and then you had to settle out of court to pay this child for distorting information about this young individual. There has been a process of radicalization that's happened in this country with media bashing that is absolutely unprecedented. Who's the people stopping the conversation? Who are they? Um, people that work at networks, <laughs> frankly, like the one I'm speaking on right now, who try and claim that, you know, it was it was racist to investigate the lab leak theory. Um, you know, while well, you're a nice guy, you know, you're full of sanctimony. Um, you know, you become part of one of the parts of the problem of the media. You are why one of the reasons people can't stand the media. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're cracking me up. Uh, all the mistakes of the mainstream media and CNN in particular seem to magically all go in one direction. Are we expected to believe that this is all just some sort of random coincidence or is there something else behind it? It's too bad, it's time for lunch. I think you're describing a different channel than the one that I watch. Uh, but I understand that that is a popular right-wing narrative about CNN. At times you, you ha do have some very opinion-based shows at nighttime like you do on Fox. So which ones? Uh, I would argue probably Cuomo Prime Time, Don Lemon. Those are, I wouldn't say those are more new. I, I would say a lot of those are opinion-based shows. Would you agree? Uh, I think those are newscasts that have opinionated voices on them. As usual, Stelter isn't worried about the party or man in power, nor is he worried about the majority of our media being a tool of the Democrat party, which seems like an actual threat to democracy. Rather, his job seems to be solely focused on demonizing their business competition at Fox News. If you wanna call this a competition. That's right, Fox and CNN cover different issues and Fox News predominantly covers issues that, that make the GOP look good and to make Democrats look bad. And, and on the flip side, CNN en engages in this partisan coverage filtering as, as well that we find. For example, during this time, the Abraham Accords were signed and these were the agreements where Israel, the UAE, and Bahrain signed a, a major peace agreement. And we see that Fox News covered this really major accomplishment about 15 times more than, than CNN did. We established both networks are, are really engaging in this partisan coverage filtering. It's, it's not about one side, it's about the media writ large. 
I think you're engaging in some both sides in there, Josh. Both siderism. That's his response to the clearly obvious and now data backed fact that CNN is every bit as partisan as Fox News. If you ever hear this leftist created word, it's always so they can avoid dealing with their hypocrisy every single time. According to Google, both siderism or what they call false balance is a media bias in which journalists present an issue as being more balanced between opposing viewpoints than the evidence supports. For example, during this time, the Abraham Accords were signed and, and, and we see that Fox News covered this really major accomplishment about 15 times more than, than CNN did. I think you're engaging in some both sides in there, Josh. I don't know if they think people actually buy any of that outside of other Democrats, or if they're really just that pathologically incapable of self-awareness. Either way, to excuse that CNN is just a cesspool of Democrat Party propaganda, and it's backed up by data brought by Brian Stelter's own Fox News hitman guest. Just goes to show how utterly deprived this overstuffed, uncooked bratwurst is. And while all the news networks, Fox News included, is partisan, the big difference is that there are a lot more Democrat state media outlets out there than Republican ones. And that right there is unfortunately the problem with all TV news and exactly why I only watch it for review purposes. I don't even watch Fox News. At the very least, it's brain melting garbage. At the worst, it's the very threat to democracy that these people claim to be defending against. That's exactly why I do what I do. And if you want to support this channel, you can find links to do that in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share, and then leave a comment for the algorithm. Thanks a lot.